right, welcome back to another Google Classroom tutorial video. Today I'm going to walk you through the different types of assignments teachers can assign you, as well as how to turn in work. Clicking on the demo class that I created, I'm going to spend all of the time today going on the classwork tab. So clicking the classwork tab at the top, you can see that there are several different categories this teacher has assigned. Um, this teacher uses an attendance topic to list the daily attendance to log that. And then they list their resources by week. So you can look for the assignments by week. Looking at an assignment, um, I'm gonna scroll down. There's a couple different types. So one of the main types that teachers can do is just a general assignment. So clicking this, it's going to scroll down and it's going to show me that it's a missing because it was due March 27th, which was yesterday. Um, over here, then it'll this this missing will be there until I turn it in. Underneath the date that it was posted, you'll see the learning goal from your, your teacher if they post that. And then they should list steps to do the assignment. So this one tells me to open the attached choice board start with number five, choose two more activities, and fill out the reflection. So below, you can see that there's the choice board. And then if I hover over the second one, this says it's the reflection. So I can go ahead and click View Assignment. And it's going to give me a couple different options here on this screen. So the first one that popped up was that it told me that I could leave a private comment for my teacher on this assignment. This is really handy if you have a question about how to complete something or if you're stuck on part of an assignment. That way that the comment that you leave is specifically tied to this one assignment and the teacher can help you a little bit more quickly. So looking at this, I can see that I've been given a copy of the reflection, but I wasn't given my own copy of the choice board. So that means that anything that's over in this big window is stuff that I can just look at. But if I go over to my work, these are things that I can edit and turn in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that Google Doc. Once the Google Doc opens all the way then you can see that this teacher gave me a template for things that I need to fill out as like evidence of completing the assignment. Um, this might be a directions just at the top and then to type underneath, or they want you to add in certain things. So for this one, it shows that I need to have highlighted areas that I need to enter in sentences or photos. So if they tell you to enter in type, like text, you can just delete what they wrote and you can type whatever you want. Now, if they want you to insert a photo, delete the text that they said to insert the photo. So I highlighted it and now I'm just clicking delete. And then up here at the top on the toolbar, there's an insert image. And I have a couple different options. I can either upload it from a computer, search the web, take a picture from that I've already saved to my Google Drive, um, use Google Photos, or you can link by URL, or I can use my camera. So if you're trying to submit work for your class and you, you want to use the camera, that's the easiest one. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And you're going to have to allow your camera. Once you have the camera allowed, then you can go ahead and the camera opens right away. And I can just click take the picture and then I can click insert. And it's going to have that picture right there in my in my practice spot that the teacher is asking me to do. And I can do that for every spot here. So it's a really easy, quick way to create your um, your reflection sheet or giving proof of your work to your teachers. Once I'm done filling out this reflection form, I can go ahead and exit out of that tab. And that stuff is updated right in here. So I can click on it again.
and it'll load. And everything is already saved. That's the nice thing with Google is that it auto saves for you. So I don't have to do anything different. So again, I'm going to exit out of that tab and I'm going to go back and I can click turn in right away. Or if I need to add anything else to turn in for this assignment, I can click the add or create button. And then it gives me options. So I can add a doc or a file from my Google Drive. I can link something here. So maybe my teachers asked me to link a YouTube video that I found, or I can upload a file from my computer. Um, it also allows you to create new. So if your teacher is asking you to create a doc or a Google Slides or a Google Sheets or a Google Drawings, those are all here. And what it will do is it will create one that has your name and the assignment as the title. So it's easy for you to find and also easier for your teacher to see. All right, so once I've do I'm done with whatever I need to do for turning in my assignment, I'm just gonna make sure I click turn in and then it's gonna give you a list of all the things you're turning in. So one attachment will be submitted and then the list of the um, docs that I attach to it. I'm gonna click turn in again and it's gonna load for a second, just making sure that that's submitted. And then I've successfully submitted it. One thing to notice is that it does tell me that I turned it in late. Um, all Google assignments allow you to turn in something late, but it does notify your teacher that it was turned in late and it's always marked on your end that it was turned in late. So I'm gonna go back to my demo class and I'm gonna go to classwork. And I want to show you one other type of question, like type of assignment is a question. Um, your teachers can give you a question and it could be multiple choice or short answer. And it lets you just answer the question right in Google Classroom without having to fill out a Google form if it's just one question. So I can go ahead and answer the question and then click turn in here. And it's going to remind me I can't make changes after I submit. So I'm going to click turn in again. And then the teacher has the option of showing you how many people answered what answer. And so you can kind of see like who got it right or who got it wrong um, or who likely got it right and who likely got it wrong. This one also tells me that I turned it in late because the due date was the 26th and it is later than that. Now, one thing that is really important to notice are things that if you um, turn them in already, they turn gray. So they were a color. So this theme of this class is orange. These little icons were orange and then they turn gray once I've turned things in. So it's nice to kind of see what things I've already done and what things I haven't done. All right, that's it for this Google Classroom tutorial.